Okay, so we all watched a lot of movies at home this year, more than we'd like to admit, and when we were done with all the good ones, we turned on the Lifetime movies, didn't we? Finally found the love of a lifetime. I gotta admit, I thought you were just rom-coms and Christmas movies, but you guys like murder. And not just regular murder, but weird murder. Murder of all kinds from all kinds of people. Oh sure, you have your usual titles with dead and death and killer in them. Boyfriend killer, seduced by a killer, black-hearted killer, tracking a killer. And then of course my favorite title of a Lifetime movie of all time, Mother, may I sleep with danger? My hat is off to the programmer of the Lifetime Movie Channel. You are having some fun. You are putting together titles throughout the week. You gotta make up a theme. My family and I, we had a great time just buzzing through the TV guide grid. You can just kinda almost tell a little story with the titles alone. This is just me scrolling through the programming block on my TV this week. We started off with the theme of houses are evil, or at least the people that buy them or sell them or rent them or live in them. Room for murder? Then you had fatal flip. What is fatal flip? Did the house just kill them? Like this wall's got to come down and it came down on Larry and murdered him. Followed by Nightmare Tenant, stalked by my neighbor. And then of course you've got the killer downstairs, killer in the guest house, some kind of the killer to move from downstairs to the guest house. And you end with Ruthless Realtor, who's probably responsible for all the other killers in the houses. Houses equal murder. And then into the night and the next day, we got into one of Lifetime's favorite subjects, nannies. Nannies and deadly child care. We started off with nanny seduction, then a stranger at the door. Guess who it is? It's Evil Nanny, followed by The Twisted Nanny and The Captive Nanny. Now let's get off of nannies and go right to the parents. Evil Stepmom, Dying for Motherhood, Birth Mother's Betrayal, Dying for a Daughter. Here's a nice double feature. You can't take my daughter and my daughter's been kidnapped. Well, apparently they could take her. Follow that with My Little Girl is Gone and Pretty Little Dead Girl. You know, that's my favorite American Girl doll is the Pretty Little Dead Girl. Don't tell anyone I said that. It's dark. But so are you, Lifetime. Then we follow nannies and mommies with daddy. Killing daddy, a father's nightmare. My evil stepdad, killer single dad. And then, of course, my father's other family. Well, hope the other family doesn't get killed too, evil father. The thing that Lifetime loves almost as much as killing people in their homes with their nannies is killing them with doctors. Let's kick it right off with Stalked by My Doctor, The Return. Now clearly this is part of the Stalked by My Doctor franchise. I didn't see the original Stalked by My Doctor. On this programming block, it was just the sequel, The Return. But that was followed by Stalked by My Doctor, Patient's Revenge, and Stalked by My Doctor, A Sleepwalker's Nightmare. And who do you probably see at the end of all of these? Evil Doctor. By the way, I'm really hoping to see Evil Nanny, Evil Doctor, Evil Stepmom, and Evil Stepdad all team up Avengers Assemble. Come on, Lifetime. Get on the franchise train. Then, of course, after all these evil doctors, it's the patient's turn. Stalked by my patient and just what the doctor ordered. Oh, we all know what the doctor ordered. Murder. So the evil nannies and the parents and the doctors was followed by a category I like to call baby problems. <laughs> baby monitor murders. Does this mean somebody got murdered with a baby monitor? Some are heavy. Did we all watch a baby go on a killing spree through a monitor? And that's followed by The Baby Stealer and The Baby Sellers. Trapped Child, Pregnant and Deadly. The Sinister Surrogate, A Surrogate's Nightmare. Well, you're sinister, you're gonna have nightmares. Adopted in Danger, Revenge Delivered, and Into the Arms of Danger. Well, what did you expect? You delivered revenge. That's dangerous. Still scrolling through the program grid, we get another favorite word of lifetime, psycho. You just take the word psycho and attach it to any subject. Insta-psycho, my daughter's psycho friend, psycho prom queen. And of course that leads us to cheerleaders. There's always some cheerleader murder going on at lifetime. Fab Five, five the, the Texas, Texas cheerleader scandal. scandal. Death of a cheerleader, the cheerleader murders, the secret lives of cheerleaders, cheer squad secrets. I bet the secret is that they're murdering people. Dying to be a cheerleader, cheer camp killer, and of course at cheer camp, we hope that they all make most likely to murder. I'm not saying I watched all these because if I did, I think I might become a murderer. I also apologize for saying the word murder and killer about 50 times, but think about what it's like for the programming person at Lifetime. They must have to go home and watch like the Care Bears or Dora the Explorer or something. <laughs> what I'm saying is, a Lifetime, I can't wait for the holiday movies again. And let's just try not to murder Santa. 
please? 